But Donald Trump has come out now and said that in 2024, it's going to be a life and death battle. And I don't think he's speaking metaphorically. Uh, you know, January 6th was a life and death battle. Three police officers lost their lives. Four civilians lost their lives uh, as a result of Donald Trump whipping up that crowd. And increasingly, by the way, it's looking like Jack Smith is going after this guy. Now that he's subpoenaed Mike, Mike Pence, and now Pence is going, well, I'm going to fight this, but the subpoena. That's not going to work, but it's, a, you know, it's another Trump-like delaying tactic. And, Trump is, and Pence, of course, wants to be president, and he knows that he can't get there without the Trump base. At least he can't get through the primary. Um, now we've got Nikki Haley. I'm curious your thoughts on Nikki Haley, where this is going to go. But Trump, uh, I, again, yesterday... He was on this uh, podcast with Jenna Ellis, and he said that uh, the Democrats stole the, they cheated to steal the 2020 election. And then he goes on to say that word woke, it means a lack of freedom of speech. Uh, he called himself, quote, one of the most important presidents ever. He said, I'm actually very nice, but you can't be too nice when you're trying to stop people from invading your country and destroying your country. Right. That was Hitler's shtick. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I love dogs. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> but we got to do something about those older people. Trump goes on to say, quote, I think it's going to be a life or death election. I think it's either going to save our country or our country is going to go into an abyss like nobody has ever seen. Right. And then he and then he took uh, pot shots at Nikki Haley and also Tim Scott, the African-American senator from uh, South Carolina, uh, one of the few black uh, Republicans out there. Trump uh, referred to both of them as, quote, disloyal.